here we are going to discuss how to find the number of odd and even numbers in the given set. Let me take one example. Now we consider four numbers a225, 3246, 201B, 10FD. These are all 16 bit numbers. Four steps should be followed to find the odd and even numbers. First step take the value in the register, then rotate in right side one bit. One bit is transferred to carry flag. If the carry contains bit 1, then it is given number is odd number. If the carry contains 0, then given number is an even number. If the given number is odd, then we increment BX register. If the given number is even, then we increment the DX register. Fix CL register for counting purpose. Select source index register for pointer in memory. Use AX register for storing the value. Move the data from memory to AX register. Rotate the AX register. The least significant bit will be moved to carry. Now check for carry flag. VX register is used for odd count. If the carry value is 1, increment the BX register. Use DX register for even count. If the carry is 0, increment the DX register. There was a small mistake in uh, registers. B and BX and DX kindly exchange the registers in the program. In the first iteration, SI points to the location 4000. In this location, the number present is A225 that is moved to the AX register. We won't bother about the higher bytes of AX register because we, we are going to move in the right side. So first of all, when we move, the carry flag sets because the LSP bit will be 1. So, if CF is equal to 1, what happens? BX register will be incremented. Now, BX will be having the value of 0001. Then, we add SI register by 2 so that it can point to the third location that is 4002 and the CL register will be decremented. At the same time dx holds the value of 0. The odd is incremented by 1 because the first number is an odd number. The second thing 4002 in the SI points to the 4002 location there we have the value 3246. 32 is the higher byte, 46 is the lower byte. Now that is moved to the AH register. It is represented in binary form. Here the LSB is nothing but 0 that is moved to the carry flag. So CF is equal to 0 now the same bit. So here it is CF 0 then we go for incrementing the DX register. Earlier it was all zeros now it is incremented then we go for third iteration by incrementing 2. Now the source index register becomes as 4004. As well as the CL is earlier 3, now it is decremented by 2, sorry decremented to 2. The SI points to location 4004, the value present is 20 IB. The 20 IB is now moved to the AX register. Here we represent in binary form so that we can easily understand. So here uh, the last LSB will be 1. So it ends with 1. I am uh, moving to the right side. 
the carry flag now becomes as 1. So again we have cf is equal to 1. So whenever we find cf is equal to 1, bx is incremented by 1. Now already bx is 1. Now I am going to add one, 1 more. Now it becomes as 2. After finishing this iteration, again I am uh, incrementing the SI register by 2. So that the location can be 4006 and the CL is now incremented by 1 that is 1 already it was 2 now the SI register points to the location 4006 the value loaded from the location is 10 FD the 10 FD is now moved to the AX register so if you see the last bit LSB is nothing but 1. Again, I am having a 1 in the LSB. Now it is moved to the carry, carry flag. Now the carry flag becomes as 1. Again, CF is 1. Hence, BX will be incremented by 1. Now, BX becomes as 3. Again, I am incrementing the SI register by 2. So that it can point location 4008 as well as I am decrementing CL register by 1 then CL becomes as 0. So whenever the C register becomes 0, 0 flag sets. Now we can obtain the results from DX and BX registers. BX register hold the odd number of counts and the DX will be having even number of counts. So totally 4 numbers are given. In that um, we found odd numbers 3 numbers, even is 1 number that is stored in the consecutive location. Thank you for watching the video.